Can you tell me, they were talking about bringing honor back with you when you came back, coming back with honor. Can you tell me how you use that in your everyday life that you do? Well, I think that uh, an experience like that makes you either stronger or weaker, as you know. And what it probably made me realize that there are very important values and standards in life and that it, it, it helps you very much to know what's the right thing and what isn't. But frankly, one of the most important aspects is the friendships and bonds that exist all uh, after all these years. These are the guys that I knew best and loved most. And in some cases, it seems like it was yesterday that we all got on a plane together. All right, and I was asking Colonel Ellis, um, People, Americans wore the POW bracelets when they were over, when mm -hmm. you were all over there. Mm -hmm. Did you know that they were wearing that, and how did that make you feel? We, we, were, we were shocked that so many people cared about us. The Vietnamese, of course, controlled any information we had, and of course they... We had no idea that Americans had rallied in our behalf. The yellow ribbons and the bracelets and, you know, we didn't consider ourselves as heroes. We only considered ourselves as people who'd gotten shot down. So we were shocked and frankly a little bit embarrassed because, you know, some of our fellow veterans were not given as warm a welcome as we were. And can you tell me your views on the book and the honor of being here tonight to speak? Oh, I'm always honored and always you know, to be in the company of these old geezers is, <laughs> you know, it's some, uh, uh, something I always cherish. You know, funny thing about the bracelet, you know, which was, began during the Vietnam War. A young man's mother in New Hampshire who was killed asked me to wear this bracelet back in 2007 and I've been wearing it ever since and I, I, I'll always wear it. Thank you so much. Thank you.